Do you ever wonder why the Fertile Crescent is now infertile? And why the once epicenter of the world for agriculture and food production is now a barren wasteland and desert? Well, this almost happened in the United States when millions and millions of agricultural acres saw poor agricultural practices being done on the land over years and years. And this was the Dust Bowl. The Dust Bowl was an environmental catastrophe that throughout the 1930s destroyed the farmlands of the Great Plains, turned prairies into deserts, and unleashed a pattern of massive, deadly dust storms that for many seemed to herald the end of the world. It was the worst man-made ecological disaster in American history. Extended drought, unusually high temperatures, poor agricultural practices, and the resulting wind erosion all contributed to making the dust ball. But plow-based farming in this region cultivated an unexpected yield, the loss of fertile topsoil that literally blew away in the winds, leaving the land vulnerable to drought. In a brutal twist of fate, the rains even stopped as well. By 1932, 14 dust storms, known as black blizzards, were reported, and in just one year, that number increased to nearly 40. In the early 1930s, the government launched the Civil Conservation Corps, the CCC, one of the most successful New Deal programs. Three million young men volunteered for forestry and conservation work for the CCC. They were Roosevelt's Forest Army, and they planted trees, dug ditches, and built reservoirs, work that would contribute to flood control, water conservation, and prevent further soil erosion. It took millions of tons of dirt and debris blowing from the plains all the way into Washington DC, known as Black Sunday, to move Congress to pass the Soil Conservation Act and establish the Soil Conservation Service under the Department of Agriculture. If you wish to follow along and do this project or demonstration for yourself, you will need only three different objects. A bowl, a spherical object such as a bouncy ball or a marble, and a piece of fabric or felt. So in this demonstration, the ball represents this basic loose soil and how easy it is to move around due to wind. And here you can see there's no cover in our bowl, so that's just kind of a bare field. I just shake it around, move it around a little bit. And even after I stop, it keeps going for quite some time. You can see how long that takes. Now if we compare it to when it has vegetation. And this could just be any kind of cover. Um, cover crops, trees, just any kind of natural vegetation. You can see how much that's going to slow it down. It becomes much harder to move, and even after I stop moving it, it basically stops altogether. So you can see how the importance of vegetation really is in stopping any kind of wind erosion.